In this video, I am going to demonstrate how to do neural manipulation for brachial plexus. Brachial plexus sends peripheral nerve for upper body, around the chest, around the ribcage, shoulder, armpit, elbow, forearm, and fingers and wrist. So this place is very, very important. If this place gets tight, it can have effect for rest of the upper limb. In this modern world, people have tendency to have impingement here. How come? Imagine there is a computer in front of the face. People focus on the computer, head forward position, neck forward position, and they use computer. So the shoulder is rolling forward, going forward. This movement can tighten up here. That's why this can create impingement then it can read numbness or pain. That's why this place is so important. How do I do? You see the vein here? This is one landmark. This is external jugular vein. Deep to this vein, there is brachial plexus. So once you can find this vein, and if you approach through this vein, you can be on the brachial plexus indirectly okay so external jugular vein i put thumb on this vein go deep then i am on the brachial plexus how do you know you are on the nerve it's different texture from the muscle you know muscle is meat you have touched meat right in the supermarket this is different sensation it's like a cord of charger, cord of the computer. It's like the electric the cord, very tight. Especially if people have had whiplash or car accident, you feel even harder texture, okay? So I am on the brachial plexus. I put stimulus distally. This is too much, but I'm showing you the exaggeration you put stimulus towards distal way then you off leave it then nervous tissue starts to move you wait until reaction finishes external jugular vein go deep put stimulus distally very tiny stimulus leave it off then tissue starts to move 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 you wait, you follow until reaction stops. Tightness on the brachial plexus can limit neck range of motion. Of course, this can create pain and numbness. The symptoms depend on people. Some people have tightness, some people have numbness, some people have pain. It all depends on the people. Good. This nerve the, uh, neural manipulation is very, very effective. Review. External jugular vein. I put thumb here. Sink into the fascia. Put stimulus distally. Very tiny movement. Little bit off. Then fascia starts to move. Tissue starts to move. Follow until reaction stops. So if you liked today's video, please hit the like button, comment, and subscribe. See you next video.